Hello, how are you doing? So you want to learn about how you can customize your server team on Shopify. I'm going to be teaching you exactly how I customized mine and I'm able to use the server team to achieve a beautiful page just like this. Okay. So if you want to learn about this, then stick through because I'm going to be putting you ahead on how to go about customizing your Shopify store using the server team. So let's go straight to the video tutorial. So you know the drill, you go ahead and, you know, come to your team store, then go to your, you know, free teams, click on, you know, search for Sabo and click on hard teams. And by the time you come here to your team library, you're going to see Sabo right here. So the next thing you want to do is just to click on customize. Okay. And uh, it's going to load up. Now, one thing about the Sabo team is that compared to several other teams that has a whole lot of stuff, Sabo already, you know, go deep into your store to just pick your products for you. Okay. So these ones are already auto added, so I do not have to add them myself. So the only thing you need to do is at the moment you have your products already added to your store, then you are good to um, go, except if you want to add more sections just by yourself, right? Now let's go ahead and customize this header and also work on the rest. So the first thing we want to do is to go to the header right here. I'm going to go ahead, drop down, and we have the header here. And the header is transparent, okay, which is the background. So you can either move the menu, the logo to whichever you want it to be at the center. You can see if you want it to be at the right, it can be there. Okay. And also, but I'm going to leave it as, at the left and also the menu. Also, you can move it to whichever place you want to move it, move it to if it's at the center, right or whichever one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next now is that I'm going to add my logo. Okay. And I'm sure that you already have a logo because if you do not have a logo, then, uh, you can actually have one. So in case you do not have a logo, maybe you're a beginner, you can go to Canva. And right here, once you're in Canva, yeah, I'm sure Canva is a tool that a lot of people already know, but if you do not know it, then you can, I will link to it in the video description. If you just type logo in the search box like this, you can see all these templates here. So you can easily just click on any one of them and you can head it. Okay. So you can just change the text to your own and just change this hard to maybe your own at the beginning of your store. So far, I'm, I'm Maeve. I can just change this to Maeve and Hem and you know, it's, it's all yours. Okay. You can see how beautiful these ones are. These are templates that you can use by yourself. All right. So I'm not going to go ahead and start creating a logo because I already have one. So, but I'm just telling you how you can get your logo done. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead to upload the logo. I'm going to go to this team settings and I will click on logo at Fabricon. And I'm going to change this. Okay. I'm going to select rather not change. And, uh, I'm going to pick my logo. All right. I already picked my logo, which is a my fashion and it's going to up update. Okay. Then the next thing I want to pick my Fabricon and right here, pick my Fabricon. And right here is my Fabricon. I'm sure you know what Fabricon is. It's the um, element or the, the symbol of the signifying that this logo belongs to you. Okay. So something like the one on the screen right now, that is what is called a Fabicon. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to change the background image, which is the hero. Okay. So I'm going to just go back to the sections and um, the main menu is already there in case you want to, you, I'm sure you should know how to go about your menu. Okay. If you want to have menu, maybe you're a beginner, you can always go to your um, dashboard, go to your content. Just like this, you go to your content and you go to menus and you know, click on menu and uh, you can see these are my menus. You can just click on create menu and, you know, you can just type to the menu, whatever it is, and, and just, you know, start adding the menu and all that. So that is how you go about you having a menu, okay? So the moment you have the menu, you can always link your menu. The moment I click this, any menu you want to show here, you can always, you know, once I click this, I click on replace and it's going to show, uh, you know, I can pick any one of my menu, but I'm going to be using my main menu for this part. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do now is to click to work on this uh, background color. So I'm going to click on the template, which is, I'm going to go to hero and I'm just going to select a photo. Okay. So let me just use this photo here. Okay. And I'm going to use this photo. Okay. So um, if you want to use a video, you can also pick a video, whichever one you want to use, you can always use, you can use it. Okay. And uh, you can also add more, you can add media too. Okay. So maybe you want to add another photo, you can actually add it and, you know, click that and, you know, you can see, okay. But I'm not going to be adding, I just want to use one image for this. So I'm just going to use this image alone. All right. So now, um, now this is about this. I think this logo, uh, we still need to increase the logo font. I mean, the logo size. So to do that, I'm going to click on the logo and I'm going to increase the desktop height. Okay. 
and the mobile also, you want to optimize for mobile because a whole lot of your customers are going to be checking you out on your mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this. Okay. And, uh, but I think I will need to use the white logo. So let me just go back and pick a uh, white. Let me just pick the white logo background. So I think that will be better. I'm going to change it to white. And uh, yeah, this looks much better. Okay. So now well, the next thing is we want to start editing all this text. So if I go to the section here, I click on the text. So uh, for you to, if you already know what you want to write, it's fine. But for me, I'm going to use AI to just get this done. So I'll go to chat GPT, but before I go, I'm going to save those changes. Okay. Then I'll now head over to chat GPT. So once I'm here on my chat GPT, I'm going to paste this. Okay. So this is a template that I use like a prompt that I use so that chat GPT can help me to just rebrand anything that's been shown, uh, you know, in the page. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do, well, if I paste you this, what you just need to do is to just change this brand name to yours and also put your niche. Okay. So. This is for those that maybe you are a beginner, you don't know what to write, but if you know what you can write in all this uh, space, it's fine. Okay, if you know what you can write, it's fine. But for beginners who don't know, that is it. So this chat GPT can be your copywriter. So I'm just going to paste. So here is where you paste the text. Okay. So I'm going to say fuel have remove. I'm going to change it to fuel have remove. Okay, so now uh, that's that's good. So this shop hall, it's still gonna be shop hall because we want them to shop from her store. But um, you can actually link to whichever one, if it's your product, if it's your collections, whichever one you wanna link to, you can always pick that. I'm gonna be linking to all my products. So we are done with this part already. So and also these ones are default, okay? So you don't wanna touch them. Uh, you can't even touch them, okay? Except if you go to, maybe you wanna remove any one of them, but just leave them. It's better that they, you have it on your page, okay? And on this, this part, it's already automated. So this featured collection, so, uh, you know, it's already the link to all my products. So uh, if I want to replace it, I can just replace it, uh, anywhere I like. Okay. So, uh, it's products already been selected. Okay. So you can, okay. Sorry. I'm just trying to check something. All right. So, uh, my products are already been selected here, so you don't want to bother with that, right? So just leave it to select all your products and let them display just like this. And if you want to change it maybe to editorial or carousel or whichever one, you can do that. But I'm just going to leave it as grid. And you can also increase the product count, okay? So maybe you want it as 13 products to be showing. It's going to increase and it's going to increase to 13. Okay, so all your products can easily show you, you know, they show you more just like this, okay? So uh if you want to increase the column also you can always walk around that right so that is it about the featured collection and uh, the next thing is the video part so this part is the video so i'm gonna go ahead i already have a video so you can actually paste an external link maybe you have a youtube video you want to use you can paste it but if you don't have you can actually find you can create a video for your for your um brand and to create a video you can go to canva and just say animated promo banner so you can see a whole lot of this banner right here so you can just edit them to your own brand okay and you can use any one of them so like this one now i can just edit this okay to my brand if you're selling uh, watches you can you know use this type of stuff okay or you know this one's introduction and a whole lot so they are animated so the you are free to use them okay you can see these also you can see how the animation looks so you can, you know, edit all this text by yourself. You can edit the introduction or whatever. It's as simple as that. So now, but I already have a, I already have a video that I want to use. So I'm just going to upload from my store or let me from my page. Okay. So, uh, let me just use this one. So, yep. So now I have this video. So you can see looks very neat. Okay. So maybe there is a product I want to promote. I can actually just edit this and change the, the, you know, the, the image in Canva you can just create that and I'm good to go. All right. So now the text here, we want to change this text. So I'm to change that. I'm just going to deactivate the inspector mode so that I can copy all these and paste it into chat GPT to create, you know, to rebrand it for me. I'm just going to paste that. And, uh, 
Yep. So, so this is the title. I'll just paste it beside it before and I'll go ahead to cancel that so that I still remain the formatting still remain as as it is. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. And uh so this food has power, whatever. So I'm just gonna edit that also. I'm gonna copy all this. And uh paste. Okay. All right. So now I've already edited this. So um, the background color. If you want to edit the background color, so maybe I want to change it to green. It's mint green. I can just you know just click on the video section, this element section. Just tap anywhere here. Okay, tap it. You can see the arrow. Tap that, and it's gonna bring you here. And you can click on this color scheme, and you can head it. Okay, and I'm gonna head it the background, and uh, I will just use a. Uh, it can just mint. I'm able to achieve the green. Okay, and not. But let me try. And uh, okay, okay. All right. So, I think I'm able to achieve something synonymous. Okay. Okay. Good. So now. That's about this, okay. Uh, although the the color here, I'm sure you already you already have your own color, so you can just change it to any color that you want, okay. So now we move to the footer aspect, which is this. So this footer now we have shop has and everything. I'm just gonna edit this to store, okay. Then under my store, I want to. This is this is just like a menu, okay. So you want to have some informations here so that you know they can actually click and navigate your. Your store easily okay so i'm just gonna click on replace and i'm gonna add my store okay so it's gonna load all the collections that i have and this ask also i'm gonna put information then i'll select and um, i'll put information there so this is about me and all that by this connect i'm gonna put on just menu it's gonna show my main menu so i'm just gonna put my menu there and voila, that is about the footer. Okay. So the, the background color actually, if I tap on the footer section, tap that, I can change the background color to for edit the. I can actually use a, sorry, let me I change the background color. So I can see, well, I can just leave it as white that it is. Okay. But I really wish I'm able to get the color of this image here, which is my. I mean the color of this um, hero. Why is this thing scrolling down the trunk? Yeah, the color of this hero. I don't know which I'm able to get it. Although it's easy to get, I can easily go to Canva to get that done, but I don't want to waste time here, but you already get whatever I'm doing. So I'm sure you have your images and everything. So you can do and you can always go to if I click on this, you can browse through images from the explore free images also. They are there. Okay. Oh sorry, I forgot to link this. Let me link to all my products. Okay. So you have to link the hero, okay, to all your products. And um, yep, so it's gonna leave this as white. So this aspect of we send tasty emails, it's gonna say copy that and uh it's gonna rebrand that. Yep, so you see we send style of it updates you will love okay so and uh, they go ahead and put their email address and they are good to go so this is exactly how to go about this and you want to remove this part by shopify click that and you know it's removed okay and also all these um you know all these social media icon you can just click any one of them and you can always link to your social media okay let's put the link there and if you want to remove maybe you are not on facebook and you want to remove facebook just click on it and you can come here and click on remove so facebook is gonna be removed okay so this, this, this is exactly how to go about customizing your server team on shopify okay and uh, if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment box i will be there to help you out and you know give you one or two uh best solution to any problem that you're facing in your shopify store creation using the server team okay 
all right so thank you very much i believe this video has been helpful if it is please make sure that you hit the red subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you can be notified when i drop new uh, video tutorials like this and once you understand this you can also use it to edit your other pages like your products page collection and several other ones so thank you if you have questions reach out to me and maybe you want a team of people to help you to create your store you find it difficult to do all these things you can reach out to me through my email maricoco at gmail.com and um, you know my team and i can help you to walk around all these things thank you very much peace and um, have a nice day ahead bye